Hey everyone, give me five minutes and I'll explain the entire cycle of our universe. No complex terms, just simple English anyone can follow. So, as of today, no one truly knows how the universe began. How galaxies, stars, planets, and life came into existence. But there are three main theories that try to explain it. Let's start with the first one. The Big Bang Theory. It says that before anything existed, there was a tiny point in space where particles got so hot and dense that they exploded. That explosion created everything, all matter, energy, and space itself, about 13.5 billion years ago. Now the second theory is called the Steady State Theory. This one says maybe the universe didn't really have a beginning. Maybe it has always existed. As it keeps expanding, it continuously creates new matter, forming new stars, galaxies, and planets forever. And the third explanation comes from religious beliefs. Many religions say that a higher power created the universe. But even then, one question remains. Where did those gods or creators come from? What was their beginning? No one really knows. So, these are the three main ideas people believe in. But now, let's move to the real topic. The cycle of the universe. For a moment, let's imagine we already know how the universe began. Right now, all the galaxies, stars, and planets are in their known positions. Scientists estimate our universe is about 13 and a half billion years old. And according to research, everything, every star, every planet, will eventually die. About 100 million trillion years from now. That number has 14 zeros. Crazy, right? Now, before we go further, there's one more theory we should understand. The Poincaré Recurrence Theorem. Imagine you have an apple. You put it in a box and seal it forever. Over time, the apple decays and turns to dust. But the energy and atoms inside the box stay there. Energy can't be created or destroyed. Now, if you wait for an infinite amount of time, those particles will randomly move, combine, and form new things. Maybe a banana, maybe a phone, or even a cat. And at some point, after endless changes, it might become the same apple again. So, now imagine the universe is the box, and everything inside it, stars, planets, galaxies, is the apple. When the universe dies, everything breaks down into tiny atoms and energy. But since energy can't be destroyed, it stays waiting. After infinite time, all that energy and matter can rearrange again, forming a new universe. Maybe different, maybe the same. But one day, our universe will return. And when it does, everything, all stars, all life, maybe even us, will come back again in another cycle of existence. So, even if we don't know how the universe started, we might now understand that it never truly ends. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. For more mind-bending theories like this, make sure to subscribe. It really helps a ton.